Hello YouTubers. I will show you how to do home automation uh, using ESP8266 um, by flashing it with uh, Arduino IDE. And uh, for the broker I will be using a Raspberry Pi Node Red. Here I have two LEDs and both of these are connected to the ESP. Here's a quick schematic. The red LED is connected to pin 2 of the ESP and a yellow LED connected to pin 0. So we have yellow and uh, red. Uh, the red LED will represent lights and a yellow LED will represent a sprinkler system. So if you want to ho home automate your sp sprinkler system, you would control this LED. I will show you how to do it or, or uh, light lights to control with this one. So if you wanted to have your lights turn on at a certain time of the day or turn off at a certain time of the day or same thing with a sprinkler. Uh, I will show you how to con control that. Let's see, let's look at the nodes. So over here... Okay, so here I'm, here's my flow. These are my nodes that I have. Uh, these two here turn on and off the um, red LED and these two turn on and off the yellow LED. And these are just, it's the, every time this one is clicked, it sends a string of zero, and this one sends a string of one. And to click them, I just click these buttons. So if you can see, uh, the red one, the red LED is off, and whenever I click it on, it turns on, off, on, and hard to see, I don't know if you can see it, and on automation part, this is a sprinklers, and I have these, these are inject nodes, they are, these right here, and to turn them on, I'm sending a string of SPR on uh, at a specific time, at 6 a.m., Monday through Sunday, um, this uh, five letters I'm sending, done. And to turn a sprinkler off, I am sending it at 6.15. So it's only going to be on for 15 minutes, uh, Monday through Sunday, and it's a string of SPR off. Done. And these two are MQTT. This is MQTT output, so it's sending out commands from the broker to any other subscriber. And this is receiving from the um, OutTopic publishers. So if there's any anything that's publishing in OutTopic, it will display it in a message over here. So let's see the. So you so you, so you saw this how it works. So I click here here, to turn it on and off, for the sprinklers and turn it on and off, for the uh, lights. Let me turn them both on and for the code that I uploaded to ESP, is over here. So it just uses two libraries. I found this code somewhere online. I had it on my computer for a very long time, so um, it came with this little part. I'm not sure who wrote it or what, but I modified it a lot, and um, hopefully this will help somebody. But uh, your SSID for the router, the password for the router, the ser uh, the IP address of your Raspberry Pi or or the broker with the note red goes over here. Then I made this little um, variable to store the incoming data from the publisher. So uh, this here, the sprinkler, it's sending out a, a string of five letters. And whenever ESP receives it, it has to store it somewhere. So I am storing it in this variable here. And um, I have a string declared over here. Let's see, I'll show you how, how this all works. So it sets up Wi-Fi over here. Let me go ahead and turn this, turn my uh, serial port on. I'm going to turn off the ESP. I'm going to turn it on so you can see what's going on. So it says connecting to Weems Wi-Fi and then Wi-Fi connected IP address is this and attempting MQTT connection. Failed. Try again, and it should try again here shortly. Attempting, connected, okay. So I don't know what happened here, but it's connected now. And we're good. So now whenever I come to my node red, 
let me move this over. So it says hello world. So we're connected whenever I send a one, I mean a zero. So it says message arrived in, in the end topic of zero. So end topic is sending out commands of zero. And if we double click this, we sent a zero of a string. And if I click here, a message arrived of one in the end topic. So remember we sent a one in a string over here. Now I'm going to send this, uh, the five letter string, SPR on. I'll click this and it says SPR on received and the LED is on. And then SPR off received and the LED is off. Um, now let's look at the code. So Wi-Fi setup, connect, print. Um, in the callback function over here, we have this is my string that I made and it's copying the MVT you know, characters as they're coming in and storing it in a specific sp spot, each individual increment. Then I have, so if the payload is zero over here, so if we sent a zero, done, it will is there an easier way to one second? We will, if the payload of zero is sent, we make the LED off, which was turn it on. And if the payload is one, uh, we be turn off or um, both say on, but it's supposed to be off. We turn off the LED, I mean, we turn off the LED, the red LED on pin two. Now, if um, if a string is SPR on, then um, turn on the sprinkler, and if the if the string SPR off, um, turn off the sprinkler. And the reason is I'm using payload here and I'm using STR here is because payload is uh, one single character. So this is a payload of zero. So whenever the payload is coming in, it's a, it's a one variable at a time and uh, it stores it in a specific spot. So um, that's why I have it set up this way. So if you want to, if you want to, if you want to use one variable, you can do it like this. Or if you want to convert the array into a string through this command right here, um, it converts the it, so it copies the payload into my str over here and then my str is converted to a string over here and then this string is compared to this string and if it is then it's turned on and if it's not it's turned off um, or if, if sorry if if it's this it turns it on and if it's that it turns it off and this one here, if it's this, it's on. If it's that, it's on. All right. So that's the code. And then if the connection is lost, it reconnects. Just like what happened to me over here. The connection, something happened, it failed. And then let's see. In a setup. Oh, yeah. Clear string. So uh, this little uh, function here. So whenever, okay, I'll scroll up to the top. Um, let's see, where is it at? Oh yeah, right here. Whenever the payload gets copied into my string, it stays there. And if, if the string, if the second string that's sent before it is shorter than the first string, um, it doesn't really clear it. So to clear my string, I have it at the end of the, all the if statements. To clear it, all I did is, you can do it two ways. You could you can just write it write it out. My string zero of zero, my string one of zero, my string two of zero, and keep going because the string has. Um, I made it for six characters, so it stores up to six characters over here. So you gotta clear each and every one of them. I did. I made a simple for loop, uh, and it makes each one a zero or you can do it like this and the reason for that is let me show you this ok 
Okay, so just a quick example. So you have your string of six characters. So string of zero is, let's, just, let's say you're storing hello. So string of zero is an H, string of one is an E, string of two is an L, L, O, and the very last one is, um, is a null terminator. Uh, this is a spot number six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And the last one's a null terminator. You don't have any uh, brackets, just a, just a straight up zero. So what we have is a string of hello and each letter is numbered. So whenever a, a, um, a word is sent to the ESP, it's, it fills in this little bus thing and then you have to clear it out you know, to, um, to get the new one. So that's why I have clear string on mine so I can clear it out. Alrighty, I hope this kind of makes sense. Um, let me scroll through this code so you can see it all. So at the very top we have the two libraries with some variables. Then we have the set up the Wi-Fi. In the callback function is where all the magic is happening. So all the if statements are here. And you can rewrite this if statement to this. You can say let me um, copy this part and instead of SPR on you could say um, zero and then you want to do this just like that and these two are exactly the same it's up to you how you want to do it I'm going to leave this up there just because and then after everything is executed I'm gonna clear the string and then if I lose connection I'm gonna reconnect and then in the setup we have the two um, ESP pins initialized and then we're using serial um, 115,200 baud rate and then um, Let's see. And then the loop, we just reconnect and then uh, client loop and then clear string is here. And you can do this either way. You can do it this way or that way, whichever is easier. But you have to clear each and individual spot. All right. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, let me know what you think. Please subscribe. Please like. Thanks.